this is Sonam. We are going to begin with the fifth chapter of EVS, the beautiful words of birds. So here we are going to understand about the different kinds of birds and their specific features. So first of all, all birds have wings and two legs. So this is very common feature that all the birds are having wings and they have two legs. Next is the wings help them to fly. So wings are going to help them to fly in the sky. Next is Birds are the only animals that have feathers. So these are the only organisms which consist of feathers. Next is the body parts of the bird. So we have to differentiate uh, about the way, uh, describe about the, what are the various body parts uh, in the bird. So it consists of head, trunk region, wings, legs and tail. So the uh, body of a bird it consists of the following different parts. Let's look at the diagram here. So, this consists of I, B. These two are the head region. The, then, this is the trunk part. It has claws and toes. These are the two legs. It consists of tail and these are the flight feathers and this is the wing. So, this is how you can differentiate between the different parts. These are the different body parts of a bird. Next is what helps a bird to fly? So, what are the various features which helps a bird to fly? So, its shape is like a boat. So, everyone is familiar with the shape of a boat. You might have seen it uh, boats. So, their body is shaped like a boat. This shape helps it to float in the air easily. So, because of these birds are having the boat shape, so that will help them to float in the air easily. Its bones are hollow and filled with air. So these, their bones are hollow and they are filled with what? They are filled with air. So this makes them light. Okay. The next is a bird has strong muscles that move the wings up and down. So this is another feature which help them to fly. That is they are having strong muscles. These strong muscles which help them to fly up and down is called as the flight muscles. Okay. Next is its tail help it to change its direction during the flight. So these are the various uh, characteristics which help the bird to fly. Nextly, we have to discuss the types of feathers. So they bo the body of the bird is covered with feathers. So there are different birds which are having feathers of different colors. So the feathers are of different colors and different types. So mainly they consist of three types of feather. The first one is your flight feather, the next one is down feather and third one is body feathers. So uh, let's discuss one by one. The first one is flight feathers. So these feathers are long and flat. As you can see here in the diagram, they are very long and they are flat. So they remain attached to the wings and the tail. Because they are attached to the wings and the tails, that means they are helping the bird to fly. That is why they are called as the flight feathers. Moving on to the next type of feather, that is down feather. So in down feathers, these feathers are short and soft. So you can see here, these are short in uh, size and they are soft in nature. So they act like a warm sweater. So as we feel cold during the uh, winter season, so you cover your body with blazers, jacket. So similarly, so this uh, they keep the bird's body warm and cold environment. So these type of down feathers keeps the body of the bird warm. A newborn bird has a lot of down feathers. So the, uh, the newborn bird will be uh, consisting of large amount, large amount of down feathers. Their body is covered with down feathers. Why? Because that will help them to keep warm in the winter season. Next is the body feather. So as the name suggests, body feathers covers the body of the bird. It will cover the entire body and it will give shape to the bird's body. Okay. So which type of feather helps to give the uh, shape to the body of the bird? These are the body feathers. As you can see, here is the diagram. Nextly, the birds fly to the different extent. So birds can fly uh, to a different extent. So one by one we have to go through that. The birds fly over a long distance. There are certain uh, bird students which can fly over a very long distance. They travel from one place to another and they continuously they can travel along, cover a long distance. Examples are your crane and pigeon. So these two are the examples of the birds which flies over a very long distance. Nextly, 
there are birds which fly over a very short distance so there are certain other which are exactly opposite to the first one they will fly over a very short distance they cover small a uh, small distance examples are cock and hen so this is the diagram of a cock and this is hen nextly the birds fly at a greater height so there are certain birds which can fly to a greater height that means above very high in the sky so examples are eagles and vultures so this is a diagram of eagle and this is vulture so these birds can fly up to a great height over uh, from the sky nextly the birds fly at a lower height so there are uh, there are certain birds which will fly only at a lower height that is near to the ground surface so example of those type of birds are sparrow and bulbul so this is very common you might have seen it near your uh, surrounding this is uh, sparrow and this is bulbul so these type of birds they fly at a very low height near to the ground nextly do all birds fly students all of the birds can fly so we have to discuss that the birds that do not fly at all so there are certain birds which don't fly at all so they move on land with the help of their legs so they don't fly they just move on the land with the help of their legs so that is why these birds are called as flightless birds so those birds which cannot fly those will be considered as flightless bird examples of flightless bird is this is kiwi ostrich a penguin and emu so these are very important to remember that that these birds will be considered as flightless bird because their wings are not very strong to fly and they walk on the land with the help of their legs let's move on to the next part aquatic birds so aquatic birds are those birds which spend most of their time in water so they are there are many birds that spend most of their time with what uh, most of the time in water so these birds are considered as aquatic birds uh, they have certain specific character, uh, characteristics that they have oil glands that keep their feathers waterproof what is that they have oil glands which will help them to keep their feathers waterproof as they spend most of their time in water so they don't want their uh, weather uh, feathers to get wet that is why they are having this oil gland so oil from these glands prevent their feathers from getting wet next is they they have web feet uh, web feet or toes that help them to swim in water so this is also important features that they are having the web feet or toes which will help them to swim in water so nextly we are going to see the various examples so there are uh, there are various examples of aquatic birds examples like the the pelican bulls swan and crane so these all are considered as aquatic birds next is nest so as students you know we live in a home okay we require a house to live in similarly birds also need a home to live and the uh, the home of that bird will be considered as its nest okay so like us birds also need a home to live in so the home of the bird is called a nest so before building so what is the process of building a nest so before the nest is uh, before the building of the nest the birds are going to uh, the bird pair that is the male bird and the female bird are going to decide where to build the nest so first they will decide the place where they are going to build the nest second step is the collecting materials and carrying it to the building site so secondly they will what they will do they will collect all those materials which is required for them to construct or build the nest and they will uh, and they will carry it to the building site next is finally the final step is the construction so finally after uh, the the place is uh, the place they have to build is decided secondly after collecting all those materials and uh, and carrying them to the building site finally the last step will be the construction of the nest the next is birds build a nest too what is the reason why the birds build the nest firstly lay and hatch eggs so this is a very uh, important features why the birds build the nest firstly they are going to lay and hatch the eggs secondly they are going to protect their eggs and nestling from the enemy so in order to protect those uh, their eggs as well as their young ones from the enemies they build the nest lastly they will protect themselves from the harsh environment so these are the very important reason why the birds build the nest moving on to the next part
nest of the bird. So here we are going to discuss about some specific examples of the birds and the kind of material they require in order to build their nest. The first one is the sparrow. This is the most common. You can observe that. So it makes its nest in houses, trees and other protected areas. So you might have seen certain type of uh, these birds. Uh, sometimes these sparrows they make the uh, nest in our homes also, in our houses. So they make their nest in the houses, trees and other protected area. Protected area is, this, uh, is a safe place where they can, uh, where they feel uh, safe, okay, where they can uh, make their nest. Next is the material it uses to make its nest are mainly grasses, leaves, straw and cotton. So these are the simple materials which is required, which they require to make their nest. Next thing. Next example is your tailor bird. So as the name suggests, you can uh, say uh, you might be familiar with the tailor. Tailor is a person who switch, who shoes the, uh, the stitches the clothes. So tailor bird is there. It shoes its nest with its beak. So it is having a, a this pointed beak. So with the help of this beak, it will shoe its uh, shoe its nest. The material which is required for them to make its nest are thread. Wool, vegetable fiber. So as you can see here in the diagram, so it has folded the leaves and then with the help of its beak, it has shoes its uh, nest with the help of what? It can use a thread, wool or vegetable fiber. So this is a tailor bird and its nest. Next is vulture. So as we have discussed, vultures are the example of one of the example of the birds which fly up to a very great height. So, vultures are going to make their nest up uh, on the trees which are in a very great height. So, it makes its nest on the high trees, okay, on top of the very high trees. And the nest looks like a shallow cup. So, it looks like a shallow cup. The material it uses to make its nest include sticks and twigs. So, as you can see here in the diagram, it is a shallow cup, okay, and it uses only the twigs as well as the sticks to make its nest. Next thing, the woodpeckers. Okay, woodpeckers have a very pointed sharp beak. So, woodpeckers make its nest in the trunk, in the tree trunk. So, this is a tree and it has made its nest here in the tree trunk. So, it uses its uh, sharp beak to make a big hole in the tree trunk. So, it is going to make a hole in the tree trunk with the help of its beak. And this hole is used as a nest. So this hole which it makes with the help of its beak in the tree trunk will be considered as its nest. You can see uh, the baby woodpecker bird coming out of that. Next thing, the weaver birds. Okay, so this is the diagram of a weaver bird. So weaver bird uses grass and twigs to make its nest. So what material they are using? They are using grass and twigs to make its nest. The special feature of this nest is that the nest is very strong and big. Okay, they are very strong and they are big in size. The entrance is at the lower end of the nest. So as you can see here in the diagram also, the beaver bird's uh, nest has an entrance. So in order to enter the nest, the beaver bird has uh, made a hole from the bottom side of the nest. So this is important feature. The entrance is at the lower end of the nest. You can see here in the diagram. Okay. So uh, by this we have uh, completed the discussion. Let's move on to the next part that is exercise. So in exercise we are going to discuss the uh, section 1. First one is multiple choice question. So first is a bird's bone are filled with. So as we have discussed the bird bones are filled with. Are they filled with water? Are they filled with flesh or air? So the bird's bones are filled with air which makes their bones very light. Okay and help them to fly in the sky. Next is dash feathers keep the body warm. So which kind of feathers keeps the body of the uh, body of the bird warm? Flight feathers? No, it helps them to fly. Then down feathers, yes. The right answer is down feathers which keep them uh, which keep the body warmer of the bird and the body feathers gives the shape. So right answer will be down feathers. Next is fill in the blanks. So here uh, let us discuss first one. The birds have dash bones filled with air. So what kind of uh, thing, uh, what kind of bones are there which are filled with air? So birds have a hollow that is empty bones filled with air. Next is 
A newborn bird has a lot of dash feathers. So as we have discussed, the newborn birds are very delicate. So in order to protect themselves uh, from the cold environment, so the newborn baby bird will have lot of down feathers. Okay. Next is ducks have dash feet to swim in water. So which creatures have the aquatic birds to swim in water? They are having webbed feet. Next is a tailor bird uses its nest with its dash. So as we have discussed in the previous videos, uh, previous slide that the tailor bird uses its next nest with its with the help of its beak. Uh, next type of question here is that circle the odd one out. So three of them are common. One is the odd one out. We have to find out that. So firstly, bear, pigeon. Crow and sparrow. So as you can see, we are easily student that pigeon, crow, and sparrow are the different birds, whereas bear is and other animals. Okay, so if the bear will bear will be the odd one out. Next is duck, nest, crane, and swan. So here you can see the duck, crane, and swan. These are the aquatic birds, but nest is an odd one out. Next is Kiwi, penguin, ostrich, and dog. So these three, kiwi, penguin, and ostrich. These are three flightless birds, but dog is the odd one out. Next is straw, cotton, water, and grass. So as you can observe, the straw, cotton, and grass. These things are required by the birds in order to build their nest. So water is the odd one out. Let's move on to the next type of question here. We have to a picture is given of the different uh, birds, so we have to find out. We have to name them. First one, as you can see, penguin, a flightless bird. Bulbul is a bird which flies to a lower height. Cranes are those which uh, fly for a long distance. And lastly, vultures. So vultures are those uh, type of birds which fly to a greater height. Okay. The next one you can see here. This is a sparrow, a swan, and the last one is pigeon. So you can uh, you can write down the name here. You can easily identify them. Moving on to the next part of the exercise. The first question is the birds that can fly over a long distance. So which type of bird you have to name the bird which can fly over a very long distance, which travels a long distance. First one is pigeon. Hen or duck. So the right answer is pigeon. The another example of these type of birds are crane. Next is the webbed feet of the duck help them to dash. So if they are having the webbed feet, so it helps them to run, jump, or swim. So webbed feet of the duck help them to swim in water. So let's move on to the next part. That is very short answer question. So first is name the feathers that help a bird to fly or and to keep its body warm so the uh, type of feathers which will help the body to fly uh, bird to fly are the flight feathers and next one which keep his body warm are the down feathers move on to the next question name two aquatic birds so there are two aquatic birds can be your duck or swan etc next is short answer question what are flightless birds and name any two of them. So students, flightless birds, there are some birds which do not fly and they walk on the land with the help of what? They walk on the land with the help of their legs. So those birds which cannot fly, consider as a flightless bird. The examples are kiwi, ostrich, emu, uh, you can, and penguin, you can write any two of them. Next is why do birds make nests? So what is the reason? As I told you, it is very important to understand that why the birds make their nest. So there are three reasons for that. Firstly, in order to lay egg and hatch their eggs. Secondly, in order to protect their eggs and young ones from the enemy. And thirdly, in order to protect themselves from the harsh uh, weather. That is, worst condition, whether it is raining, thunder, storm, etc. So in order to protect themselves from the harsh environment, harsh weather. Weather, so they these type of the birds make their nests. Lastly, we have to discuss the long answer type of question here. Firstly, how is the bird's body suited for flying? So there, as I told you in the video, there are four characteristics which helps a bird body to fly. First reason is that their body uh, is having a board shape. So everybody is familiar with the shape of board. So because of they are having the shape, uh, their body is having the board shape, it will help them to float in the air easily. 
The next reason is that the bones are hollow and they are filled with air. So because of that it weighs the body weight of the bird very light which helps them in flying in the sky. The third feature is that they are having very strong muscles which helps them to move their wings in up and down direction. Because of that uh, those uh, special strong muscles are, con are called as their flight muscles. So because they are having flight muscles they help them to Fly. And the last reason uh, is the tail. If uh, they are having the tail which helps them to change the direction when they are flying in the sky. So all these characteristics help are helpful in a bird body to fly. Next is name two birds. So we have to give the example for that. First one is fly over a long distance. So there are certain birds which can fly over a very long distance. Examples are your crane and pigeon. So they cover a long distance. Next thing, fly at a great height. So those birds which can fly up to a great height that is uh, much uh, distance from the ground level, from the land. So the examples are vultures and eagle. Next is fly at a lower height. So there are certain birds which fly very near to the ground. So example of them are sparrow and bulbul. So student by this. We are, com uh, we are covering, uh, completing our fifth chapter uh, that is uh, about birds. Hope to see you in my next video. Till then, take care. Thank you.